Hello Sidekick subscribers and viewers out there today, welcome back to a daily gameplay as a countdown in anticipation to Shadow of War, that is Middle Earth, Shadow of War, or Shadow of Mordor 2 if you will, coming out October 10th, looking so much forward to it that we're doing daily gameplay of Shadow of Mordor in the meantime, and discussing some of the features that will come up in the upcoming awesome sequel. So, as we had last few episodes, if you haven't checked those out, you can check the playlist in the description below. We were discussing a few of the ranks for orcs. We've discussed the destroyer, the commander, the assassin, and this time we're going to discuss who is the beastmaster. The beastmaster at one with the creatures of Mordor. Beasts do not act or attack, I'm sorry, they do not attack these guys. And along with his awesome name and title as a beast tamer or dog whisperer, if you will, uh, dogs on steroids, that is, the Karagors, they also have an ability called Bestial Roar. Bestial Roar. Speculate with me below in the comments what could Bestial Roar even mean? I'm not even going to comment on that one. You comment for me. I'd love to discuss it with you. Awesome sidekicks. Without further ado, let's get into some gameplay. Change up a skin. Last time we did the Power of Shadow. We did the Lord of the Hunt. We did Talia. Now it's time to do the Bright Lord. And check out that awesome skin. Continue story mode. Here we go. Again, as you recall from the, the other episodes, if you want to check that out, go check out the playlist below for that left in the description. If you are new to the channel... And you don't know what Shadow of Mordor is, or Shadow of War, let me just say it's exciting that you are joining with us because we're doing a countdown every day with a new video, new gameplay, new speculations, new tips, new Easter eggs of the upcoming uh, game. And in addition, having some fun along the way with Shadow of Mordor. And we're going to try to build our way up to the end of the storyline and getting into trying to find the ultimate nemesis and the ultimate follower, which will carry over with us to Shadow of War when the game is released. So I'm pretty excited and we're gonna maybe even find some nemesis in this episode. You never know. You never know. Speaking of nemesis, there's a giant Karagor monster about to just wreck those dudes. Oh, <laughs> one hit and they're one hit and the Karagor, dude, this, that thing is just, unbelievable. look at this little guy over there. He's like, oh, should I go help them or should I just watch the carnage? Oh man, dude, just leave it alone. By the way, that's something that is a DLC. We can, we, it's, I think, Beast Hunter is what it's called. And um, for those curious as to what that thing was, let me just quickly show you. It's a Karog, I think it's called. A Grog. Grog, that's what that is. And later we can ride those dudes. How epic is that? That is pretty awesome. All right. But um, as you recall from the previous episodes, um, we are on a mission to go and what are we doing? gonna go do some power struggles pierce some weak minds bring down enemy forces and try to get some kind of work all right so that's cool there's a little one of these over here I can't see if I can shadow travel over here speed things up excellente little agua goes a long way from my vocal cords all right, did we mark the target so we can kind of know where we want to go? Let's set a waypoint on the way to the um, golden golden, uh, golden point for the storyline. Looks like we have to go through a fortress, though. That could be scary. Is there another way around? Because that is really scary. Yeah, it looks like path through here. My. <laughs> this is going to be something. There's a dude with some intel over here. I'm gonna see if I can't go grab some intel. Maybe it's just All a little parchment. Nope. Been hearing coming from the forge. Intel they want that. It's orcs. No weapons to drench in blood on the battlefield. Oh yes. <laughs> Suffer me now. No, two, two, two. No, no, no. Dang it. I'm gonna flee some slaves and then I'm gonna get the intel. And we're gonna take care of these dudes. Grab some intel. <laughs> Oh, come on, I lost my power strike here. Fear me, orcs! Punching you guys left and right. Don't kill the intel guy. Good. <laughs> the intel guy. 
like, you know, Intel processors. Okay, sorry. Couldn't help myself. No, no, no. Just a couple more of you and then we'll be done. No, dang it. Why'd you kill him? Oh, <laughs> wasted. Wasted. So unfortunate. Well, what's this? Nameless thing, unlike... Okay, Wraith Flash, we can't even play that mode. Man, what a waste of time that was. I really didn't intend to do that. I just button mashed and then got myself into trouble. Ooh, we are really going through the stronghold. Let's see if we can't sneak up here and kill um, some archers. For starters, this is, this is dangerous territory, ladies and gents. We're going to do a little stealth drop. Or maybe we just avoid them completely and progress with the story. That's what I'm going to do. Did a little Assassin's Creed jump there. Hey, what's he doing over there? What are you doing over there, dude? I'm just, I'm just a little curious. Is he eating food or? Yeah, he's going to be eating some food. That's cool. All right. On with the life. Okay, here's the big tower. And let's climb it, set a waypoint, and then we'll move on to the storyline. Man, I wish we would have gotten that. Intel. It was going so well until I killed him. <laughs> well, that's just the nature of this game, huh? A citadel. Secrets seen only by my eyes. Ooh, there's a little uh, quest here we could do, but I'm gonna have to pass. Who's that awful shrieking? Horrible little maggot. Oh, what? That didn't work. They didn't even notice I ran right past them, shot an arrow in front of them into their camp. Fire, and they're still oblivious. You gotta love it. Gotta love how dense and thick those brains of theirs are. Hey! Why don't you come over here, Ranger? I'll do that, Ratbag. Let's do it. We're gonna meet Ratbag. This is so exciting. You guys will like this guy if you haven't met him already. Ranger! Come close if you want the back hand. No slave scum. I'll pour a poison in your ear. Oh, but you cut these ropes. Right back, I'll tell you everything. Hmm. Now, what would you know? All these other dead orcs did. Go ahead, you bastard! Do it! I'll die, and you'll know nothing! Maybe I'll grant your request. End your misery. No, 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 no. Just a, look, no, no, no. slaves are no match for the orc army. Their schemes as rotten as barrel fish. Ratbag can teach you the ways of the orc. Ratbag can make your plan work. Hmm. Uh, Moment of truth. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> In the mind of Ratbag, what can we discover? We're gonna locate Gorath. It's got a nice little Karagor head or something. Bear. I don't even know. What the? I guess, I guess it's a Karagor? So uh, we're gonna have to locate his strength and weaknesses, uh, but so far that's what we know. Oh, we already know actually. Fear of Karagors. And he has a Karagor on his head. <laughs> How funny. Invulnerable to range, heavy attack, and gang leader. All right, marked his target. Let's go after this dude. Did he just fart? I'm sorry. No problem, Ranger. It sounded like it. It's the war chiefs. Strong leaders they are. Now, if something were to happen to them. Able to stop your little insurrection, would they? Well, I would hunt them down. <laughs> How? They're not very popular around here, and they know it. But you can find them. Oh, yes. Ratbag will show you the way. You help me, I help you. I do not 
make me regret this deal. Marvelous. <laughs> Marvelous. First, we need to take care of a certain captain and a few caragors. Come with me, Ranger. Yeah, let's stop faffing about. Let's get to it. So the Bright Lord is now them. friends. Those slaves are stabby in the back with the right back, the coward. Stabby in the front, most likely to throw. We have similar goals, <laughs> Ranger. See, you want to kill the captain, and somebody's got to take his place. Somebody like Red Bank. Mm -hmm. So this Goroth is in charge? Of this camp, yeah. But he's no war chief. They answer directly to the Black Hand. I'll show them all when I'm in the Black Hand's inner circle. Becoming a captain is just the first step of Ratbag's plan to become a war chief. Been prepared to step hard on his neck. Uh oh, we've been spotted. Well, I freed him. Alright, so this dude's got a. Uh, he's called a defender. And uh, we gotta do a little. Got to do a little bit of acrobatics to um, to uh, damage this dude. Can we can we execute this guy real quick? Come on, come on, come on! Dang it! Okay. Let's uh, let's execute him now. Here we go. <laughs> he's a goner. Oh, he's a goner. Quickly. I'm trying, you fool. We gotta keep Ratbag alive, though. And he's having some trouble with this fool. Right, we gotta go knock this guy out here. Do a little ground execution. It's so slow, though. Uh, I do know that's something I can um, speed up in the future. And also a soft outer shell. And also a soft outer shell and belly. <laughs> well done, Ranger. Now, just picture all these corpses as Goroth. Visualize your goals. What a pep talk. Goroth's been out for Ratbag for years. Smug piece of dunger he is. We come to blows as far back as Ratbag can remember. Still, Ratbag never wins. Last time, he kicks Ratbag into the Karagor pit. All the others laugh as a Karagor bats Ratbag around like a yarn ball. He's not bitter. Goroth's gonna pay. Smug piece of dung. He'll pay. Okay. Goroth's categories in pens. And rumor has it he doesn't like to get too close to him. That's right. He has a fear of Karagors. Open those pens. Goroth's always in there. Never leaves. Ever. Wonder where he pees. <laughs> oh, that explains the smell. Oh. Keep out of sight. I'll see that you're okay. okay. So now we gotta search without raising alarm. There were more warriors coming here to join us. Okay, so we're gonna go high on this. Um, worms expose the captain's weakness. Ah, very cool. The problem is, I need to go find one. There's one. We don't need to do the weakness because we've already done that. So what we're gonna do is just kind of try to go straight up, yo. Oh, there's a little bit of trinket over here. There it is on the ground. Let's grab that. That gives us some little mithril or whatever it's called. What kind of item do we have? Let's see, it's a grog bowl. Always cool. And um, on these grog bowls, you can find a little bit of uh, magic action going on to play memory. No more being bossed around by that damned Urukai. Pretty cool. We can recall memories just by finding little trinkets on the ground and have a little reward. And those correlate to uh, this right here. I forget what the M stands for. I'm going to guess Mithril, but I could be mistaken. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but what we can do is max up the health, which is probably one thing we want to do. Max up the Elf Shot, Focus, Rune Slots, a lot of good stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and go with the health for now. Help us with um, progressing the missions without dying. This grog they have is a harsh but effective medicine. These Uruk truly are twisted reflections of my kin. I 
That's interesting. So a little bit of lore there. Apparently, the elves were are um, originally the I guess you'd say their genome, their genetics is what basically formed the Uruks. They were tortured elves, as we have it from the Hand of Sauron. So that I believe is correct. It could be. What are we doing? Why are we down here? Oh my goodness. We're gonna we're gonna be spotted for sure. We just <laughs> jumped. Did you hear that? My imagination. Oh my goodness. And it better stay away. Oh my goodness! Climb, you fool! Destroy, you fools! Oh my goodness! I did not mean to stealth kill. I was gonna stealth kill the archer. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We made it. So what am I supposed to do? Search for Goroth. Okay. Apparently, uh, I'm supposed to go right down here. And I want to kill that guy this time. That's what I meant to do. Next time, be on the lookout for that. This looks like a good spot to get some shut eye. Goroth will kill you if he catches you napping. Yeah, don't Goroth take a nap, you fools. He's always by the hunting camp. Well, they know their boss too well. Goroth's in the hunting camp. So much for him always being in the same place. A captain who fears his own beast. Fear is a powerful tool, Talion. Woo. Let's put Goroths to work. Just jump that way, you fool. Come on. Whatever. All right. Do a wraith jump. Run, run, run. Come on. Let's get to the... Get to the Goroth. Let's get to the Goroth. In the meantime, we can, uh, whoop! Hey, I found him! There he is, he's over there! Did you see him, guys? He's right there. I have a rep Gone off. Target found. Target acquired. So here's what I'm gonna do, release the Karagor. They just make this all so easy for me. It is so beautiful. Uh-oh! He almost... Release Karagors! He's in vulnerable to range! I'll feed him at Karagor's feet first, so you can watch him eat you! No, I actually just freed your Karagor friend. Alright, uh, have fun with, um, with that. Where'd you go? Hey, hey, come here. Come here. Ah, uh, come on, why are you climbing, you idiot fool? I suppose it was my imagination. Uh, well, there you is. And actually, I think what I could do right now is just shank him. Whoa. There we go. And okay, sorry for my uh, lapse of uh, commentating there. I was really focusing pretty hard. So battle report. Just wanted to kill him before. Looks like Ratbag got the kill. After all, he got the glory. <laughs> Our little agreement played out perfectly in his favor. And in ours as well. Hey, you two. Looks like you got a little upgrade in uh, aesthetic armor there. Some bones of his enemy. I need you to take a body back to my tent. I'm gonna get me a trophy. <laughs> get lost, scum. We only take all this for Goro. That's the filthy corpse I need you to carry! Now go! Go! Say your fish! Yeah, what now, boys? Be respectful, you dunghill worms! It'll be your ear next time! Ratbag is your captain now! Let's go take a can. <laughs> I've got more bodies for you to carry. Meet me at the crossroads. Don't push your luck, no Ratbag. There is about to lose his head. <laughs> and the grunts obey. Oh, this is gonna be too hard to resist. 
I can stealth kill this fool. Now I am working with an orc. What could possibly be next? Hey, isn't these the dudes that were supposed to go carry the body? The orcs hate each other almost as much as they hate us. Sorry, rap bag, you're gonna have to kill your uh what? Where are you running from? Oh, he must be running from me. Don't run for long, boy! Okay. <laughs> All right, well, guys, this is uh, summing up the episode as we know it. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this gameplay on day 60. Whoa. Karagors, can't, can't go over there. They're feasting. Day 67 countdown, I believe. Day 67, I think, if I'm mistaken. My apologies. But, as always, if you enjoyed the series so far, please do leave a comment on what you believe to be more information about the Beastmaster. What is it? What is it? What does it mean to have a bestial roar? I'd love to hear your comments and have some interaction below. Also, don't forget subscribing and also adding my playlist to your watched playlists to get more daily content coming your way every single day is our countdown in anticipation of Shadow of Mordor 2, Shadow of War. This is Hero87, signing off. Later, sidekicks!